Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the most useful iOS 14 shortcuts that you must have on your iPhone in 2021. Now iPhones of course have a lot of great features and one of those in my opinion is shortcuts as well. Now shortcuts are probably a bit underrated not a lot of people use them, but actually they are very, very useful and you can do a lot of stuff with them easier and of course quicker on your iPhone. So these shortcuts that I'm about to show you guys on this video are very useful and will help you do a lot more on your iPhone and of course make your life easier while using your iPhone on a daily basis. Now before we get started, don't forget to leave a like on this video, that will help the video a lot so make sure you smash that like Let's button. First take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video, NordVPN, the best and fastest VPN solution for iPhone users thanks to the optimized peer-to-peer -peer servers. NordVPN provides extremely fast connections thanks to NordLynx and that has now been confirmed confirmed by the latest speed tests. The auto connect feature provides zero click security, allowing you to connect to NordVPN servers automatically without having to click a button on your device. NordVPN will also take care of malware ridden websites and ads by blocking them via CyberSec. Make sure to check out NordVPN by clicking the link right down below in the description of this video. And of course, make sure you use my promo code to get a huge discount on NordVPN. Starting things off with Search On. Now, Search On is an amazing shortcut that allows you to quickly search anything you want on the internet, anywhere on the internet. Of course, on the most popular places. So you run the shortcut and you will get this like text field right here. You can search right there for anything you want to tap done. And now it gives you the options where you want to actually search from Google to Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, Amazon, even hashtags on Instagram, you can search anywhere you want with this shortcut. Now, the cool thing is that, of course, with iOS 14, you will have the chance to actually have that as a widget on the home screen of your device. And of course, you can quickly search from the home screen. Next up, we have a very useful one called turn on alarms. Now, most of us, when we have to set alarms, we set a bunch of them. Most of us don't believe that much in ourselves to set just one alarm and we will set probably three or four. Now with this shortcut, the first thing you wanna do once you install it is tap the three dots right there and you can choose here items and you can choose actually here how many like alarms you want to set. So you can see these numbers. So we have 45, 40, and 35. These are the minutes before the time you need to get up that the alarm will be set to. So like you can add another item here. So let's say maybe like 10 minutes before the alarm. And then from here, once you have this configured, you tap done and you're good to go. Now just tapping on this, it will show you right here to this pop-up, click done and choose basically the time that you need to be waked up. So let's just say here 7 a.m. And now it will actually go ahead and set alarms based on the items that we added right there. So here we have actually all these alarms set. So it did set up four alarms. So let's just go ahead and quickly check them out. And here we have all the full four alarms actually set up and turned on all of them with the same time. Next up is Home Screen Creator. Now this is an amazing shortcut that you can get for your device. I did show this on a previous video that I did dedicated to like customizations of the iPhone. Now what you can do with this is create like a 3D look on the home screen of your device. It's really, really amazing. So the first thing you wanna do is of course, go ahead and download this. You will find the link right down below in the description of the video. So you download the shortcut from here and then you download the shadow pack. So once you tap right there, you have to choose the, the model of iPhone that you have. So it only supports iPhones that have a notch actually. So once this downloads, you will find it of course under the download section on the files app. Now what you need to do from here is go to files and go to your downloads. So wherever you have them saved, either on your iPhone or on iCloud, you go to downloads and you just go ahead and copy that album, that, ba that basically folder that has the name of your iPhone model right there. And then go back, go to iCloud Drive and go to shortcuts right here. We'll find the shortcut folder and make sure you just tap and hold here and paste that right here. So I already have it. Once you have done that, and of course you have the shortcut installed, then all you gotta do is just tap on the shortcut and from here, just choose the model of iPhone that you have. 
click OK here to go ahead and choose the wallpaper that you want to set. Of course, you do this from the photo library of your device. Once you choose the wallpaper, you can choose here what you want to do. So we'll, we'll just go with no right there. We won't create any like card or anything. Just tap done. And now you will have to actually go ahead and choose the shadows that you want to use. So you go ahead and go to shortcuts right here. Go to the, the iPhone's name and choose here. Let's say long depths. And of course, choose here the layout that you have on the home screen of your device. So here I will choose this one. This is the layout that I currently have. And you can choose here if you want to add like a background on the dock or not. So we will just choose no right there. And now here we have the wallpaper saved. So click done here. And what you need to do is actually save it to photos and then just go ahead and apply it to the home screen. You can see once you have applied that wallpaper, how cool the home screen will look. It has like that 3D effect right there on the icons that makes it look really, really different. Next up is orientation lock. Now with iOS 14.5, Apple has added this new action to the shortcuts. Now this allows you of course to toggle on and off the orientation lock. By itself, running it from here or from the home screen, it might not be that useful, but when you combine it with back tap, which of course you can set from here, so you go to touch and you go all the way down here to back tap, and of course you choose double tap or triple tap, and at the bottom here, we'll find all your shortcuts. Now, if you combine this with orientation lock, then you will be able to easily turn on or off the orientation lock simply by double tapping or triple tapping on the back of your iPhone. Photos Toolkit is a must have shortcut for your pictures. It allows you to basically do anything with your pictures. Once you tap on it, you will see this menu. From here, you can choose whether you want to resize an image, convert images, rotate them, combine images together, overlay an image over another image, flip images, make GIFs out of those images, or just mark up a photo or a PDF. So basically anything you wanna to do to an image, you can do that from here. So let's just quickly make a GIF here. So you just go ahead and choose one of your pictures, and you can see right now we can go ahead and make a GIF out of that picture which is really really cool now once you're here you just tap yes and it will save it under the library of your iphone next up we have font switcher now this is an amazing shortcut that provides 27 different fonts which you can apply to any text you want so anytime you want to type something maybe on your social media or in the description or something like that you don't have to actually install an app or just get the font from a website or something like that. You run the shortcut, you type here whatever you want. So let's just go with test here and tap done and you will get a list of all the fonts that you can actually use from this shortcut. So let's just go ahead and choose this one right here. So once you're done with that, you can see it will show right there the text you just entered with the font that you selected. You tap OK and that is now copied on the clipboard of your iPhone. Next up is Wi-Fi QR code. This shortcut allows to easily share your Wi-Fi with anyone without telling them the passcode of your Wi-Fi. Whether that be your home network, maybe office or your business, something like that, you don't wanna share the passcode with someone, you can have them get access to your Wi-Fi without telling them the passcode. You just run the shortcut, and of course right here, type the name of the Wi-Fi network, tap done right there, and then enter the passcode here. So let's just go ahead and enter a passcode, tap done, and now it will actually create one of the QR codes which allows you to share your Wi-Fi with someone. So this is the QR code. Of course, you can tap right there and you can go ahead and save this under your library. So anytime you wanna give access to someone to your Wi-Fi, you just go ahead and show them this QR code. Next up is in case of an emergency. This is a new accessibility shortcut that Apple has just released. Now this one is actually very, very useful. Now what you wanna do is of course, once you install it for the first time, you have to set it up. So let's just go here and you can see right here, enter your contacts, which you want to contact, of course, in case of an emergency, you will have your location here and you can enter here any message that you want to send them. And you can see right here what it will send. It will send your location, the street, the zip code to the emergency contact. And you can enter here like any text you want. Once you have done that, you click done and in case of an emergency, you will basically just tap this and everything will be done automatically. And last but not least is combined screenshots. Now this one allows us to easily merge screenshots with one another 
very cool and of course very very easy to do you just run it and of course just go ahead and select the screenshots from the photo library once you have done that you will see right here you can enter a name so let's just go with test again tap done and now you will have all of your screenshots combined together of course by using the share button you can go ahead and save this image under the library of your iphone so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are some of the best shortcuts that you can get on your iphone on ios 14 hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like if you did and also don't forget to subscribe for more and i will see you guys on the next video